Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has developed a fully completed HTFE 25 turbofan engine that has achieved 55% of the speed in the acceleration trials and the HTFE 25 engine will be enhanced in further trials to achieve the desired thrust levels. The HTFE 25 engine is likely to get its military worthiness certification by 2024 and it can be used to power a 5-ton class aircraft in a single engine configuration and power a 9-ton class aircraft in twin engine configuration. Hindustan Aeronautics and New Space Research and Technologies will start development trials of the Alpha S air launched swarming drone system in 2023 that will have the capability to penetrate contested airspace and take out vital ground based targets, and they will be equipped with an infrared seeker that will enable it to target multiple aerial targets like medium altitude long endurance drones and helicopters. The Alpha S will not remain exclusive to the Tejas Max mothership and will be deployed from other fighter jets attack helicopters and even transport aircraft of the Indian Air Force. India has successfully test-fired two laser-guided anti-tank guided missiles from the Arjun main battle tank, and it destroyed the targets with precision at two different ranges, and the telemetry systems have recorded the satisfactory flight performance of the missiles. The indigenous laser-guided ATGM employs a tandem high-explosive anti-tank warhead to defeat explosive reactive armor-protected vehicles at 5 km range. It features multi-platform launch capability, and the missile locks and tracks the targets with the help of laser designation to ensure precision. Officials have said that all clearances will come from the DRDO for the BrahMos missile production facility in Lucknow by September, and the construction of the facility will begin by October. India will manufacture the BrahMos next generation missile at this facility, and 3,000 crore rupees has been committed as investment for the project by BrahMos Aerospace. 1,500 crore rupees investment will come in the first phase, and more than 100 BrahMos missiles per year will be manufactured at this facility from 2025. Keeping a close eye on the export market, Hindustan Aeronautics has started development of the Hindustan Lead Fighter Trainer 42, based on the two-seater trainer version of the Tejas Mark I. Due to massive order from US Air Force, the Boeing Saab developed T-7 Red Hawk costs just $19.3 million per unit, while the 10 Tejas trainers ordered by the Indian Air Force had cost $35 million per unit. Experts have said that if equipped with the indigenous 80 kN cavalry engine instead of F-404 engine, the per unit cost of the Hindustan lead fighter trainer can be reduced by $4 million. Boeing Saab T-7 Red Hawk has very little composites, while Tejas airframe is 45% composites, that results in higher raw material import costs, and reduction in composites will further bring down the cost. Tamil Nadu-based Airworks has delivered the 6th P-8I aircraft to Indian Navy after successful completion of Phase 32 checks and heavy maintenance. Airworks and Boeing had signed a strategic collaboration in 2021 for maintenance repair and overhaul of Indian Navy's P-8I aircraft and VVIP transport fleet operated by the Indian Air Force. During the meeting of Maldives President and Prime Minister Modi in New Delhi, India has announced the supply of a second landing craft to Maldives, and also a replacement ship for earlier provided patrol vessel. India has also announced the gifting of 24 utility vehicles, and a grant assistance of $50 million line of credit for a number of defense projects.